This is gonna be fun. So, I sold stuff and reorganized my inventory and everything as usual. Um, I put an enchantment on this, it gives him my plus eight, mess around with my rings a little bit, uh, you know, that's sort of the usual. Um, also I noticed that I got a better version of the dagger that I was already using with the same enchantment, so it's cool. But after I did all that, I made my save, and then I was messing around for a little bit. And I didn't save over my, my save from doing that, so everything I did while I was messing around is not actually on this file. Um, one thing I noticed while I was messing around is that over here by Snurgle's Caverns or is that what it's called? Whatever, Snurgle's whatever. Uh, I called it Snurgle Cavern the first time because I thought it was just named after Snurgle but it's Snurgle's Caverns because he's still alive and they want him. Anyway, Magic Horseshoe. Out of my way. And where's the other one? Where'd the other one go? Um, I see another one on the map right there. Where is it? I only need one. Oh wait, is it on? Is it on this side? No. Where is it? Okay. Is it, on? it looks like it's right around here somewhere. So, that's enough for now. It's kind of confusing. But anyway, what I can do with that is this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now guess who's ready to master water magic? Yep. Seriously, where the hell is the other one? That's gonna bother me. So, once we get the chance, we're going off to Mist, so we can master water magic with uh, the end. Another thing I was messing around with is I was trying to get the skill glitch to work with these trainers, and I am positive that I've gotten it to work before. Ready to learn something new? Oh well. That will be useful. Yeah, that. So there's... Yeah, nothing's happening. I thought... Maybe I can get it to work if I click a lot faster, so I clicked it like as quickly as I could, and I tried it like five times, and each time the game crashed. Welcome aboard. No. So, that's not going to be happening. But I remember, in my first playthrough, I was using the same character types as these ones, and I had like three or four of them wearing plate armor. And the way I have them right now, or without using this bug, basically, none of them can use blade armor. So I had to have used that to be able to get them to wear that. What's over here? Uh, so, that's that. I also figured out how to strafe. If you hold control, and you move right, there you go, and you move left, it, it's, it's not... I'm only holding left, I'm not holding left and back. It's kind of eh, not very well refined. I mean this this isn't a very important mechanic, so it's understandable, but still. This isn't really something I already use, especially since you go so slow while you're strafing. Wait, what happens if you hold shift? Shift Yeah, no, shift doesn't speed it up at all. So this is like y you can kind of pretend your characters have a camera, and they're taking a panoramic picture or something, I don't know. And it doesn't have much practical application in battle. So... Hello, come on in. Enjoy your stay. 
Let's pass the day until tomorrow. Missed. Welcome aboard! Raise the plank and hoist the sail! Cool. So now... How are you? Air. That's fire, Whoa. right? No, that's math. Water. Okay. Okay. There we go! Hooray! Hello. Hooray. Hooray. How are you? So that was exciting. So now what we can do with this... Well, we can do multiple things. For one, we can use enchant item. Well, I just realized I haven't met Master in Water Magic and he only has two water spells. Anyway, we can have him use enchant item on weapons now, which is useful. I guess... I might as well use it on... Well, let's save the spell points for now, because I'm going to be using Town Portal, so let's see if I can get him any other useful water spells. Don't really need that. I guess that's nice. Not too expensive. Might as well. Awaken. Oh, yeah, that's, that's good. Cold Beam. Why not? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. So now, two to six points of damage always hits, cost zero. Or always hits, and one to seven points of damage per point of skill and water magic, but it costs eight. Um, I'm gonna go with this one. Okay. Set that as his ready spell. So that's that. Um. The magic of light. Yeah, might as well get this. Do I already have shield? Yes. I do. Uh, the magic of light. Yeah. All right. What do we got in fire? Fire. Magic of destruction. I don't know why there's no Earth Guild on this. Oh, yeah, cool. On this island. Oh, he already knows haste. Um, well... She knows it now. Alright. So... To Freehaven we go. It's in the morning, so my guild should be open. My uh, guild of the spirit, for example. Spirit, the magic of life. All right, raise dead. I'll take it. Resurrection. I'll take that. Move. Wait. Okay, hang on. Okay. Yes. Let's see. What spirit spells do I have? Spirit. missing... okay, I have removed curse, I'm missing 8, something between 10 and 20, and 25. Spirit, the magic of life. Okay, I don't really need that. It's 8. Okay, 15, I don't really need that. 25. No, it's not available. Alright, let's go check over here. Did I get telekinesis? I did not get telekinesis. Of knowledge. Telekinesis, there we go. Alright, looking good. Okay. Besides that, I'm definitely gonna get Lloyd's Beacon now. Is she a master and merchant yet? No. Where's the Master Merchant Teacher? I want to get that as soon as possible. I think he might be in Silver Cove? Water, magic of I haven't even been to Silver Cove yet. There's Lloyd's Beacon. Expensive, but worth it. Yes. Okay, so for one... 
Let's have him use Town Portal to go to New Sorkle. And where's the spell points one? This is Might, yeah. And so this one's spell points. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now. There we go. I've got a bad feeling about this place. She has a bad feeling about this place. Where are you going here? Lloyd's Beacon, Set Beacon, right there. Hell yeah. Alright. And then we'll go back. We don't really need to cast a spell to go back, we can just go back the normal way. Nope. Alright, cool. So, get some of these spell points back. Now, to Silver Cove. Wait, what did she got all happy for? Okay, whatever. Closed. Town halls, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Alright, we'll be back here in a little while. You cast Wizard Eye. And we're gonna go check out. This is Town Hall, right? Oh, who or, goes there? Throne Room, not Town Hall. The Lady Loretta Fleece, Baroness of the Eastern Sea, and Chancellor of the Treasury. Money! I happen to know that you are amongst a short list of adventurers looking to receive favor from the High Council. What you want it for, I don't know, nor do I care. I'll be blunt. I love money, and I want more. Much more. I have a plan to fix the price of shipping in my favor for a time, and I need... Uh, crap, I just got something in my eye. I need competent agents to carry it out. Perform this task well, and I will give you my support. Not to mention a lot of money. Here's the plan. Each of the nine shipping companies in the kingdom must be convinced to charge at least 48 gold per pound per mile of material they transport. They are all in competition, and they know it so none will want to make a move before the others. I don't care how you convince them, just get the job done and report back to me. So if I remember right, you pretty much just have to talk to each of them. And so this is a pretty easy council quest. Um, the only easier one than this is the one given by the dude in the snowy place. Actually, we haven't even talked to the second dude in the snowy place yet, have we? I don't think we have. But the the one where we have to fix the weather, that one's the easiest because you you just go to uh, Kriegspire, you fly up to the Hermit on the hill, you talk to him, and you get it. This one's only slightly more challenging because you go around to like nine different people and talk to them, each in different towns. It's still relatively easy. And the other four are challenging because, as I keep showing you, there are six council members, so six council quests. Anyway, great druids. Although it may be hard to believe, I happen to be one of the top druids in the land. As such, I am empowered to promote druids to great and arch druid status, provided they prove themselves worthy. To be promoted to great druid status, you must perform the ceremony of the sun. Pray at the center of the circle of the sun during any equinox or solstice, March 20th, June 21st, September 23rd, or December 21st. If you are there at that time, I will contact you magically and lead you through the ceremony, thus promoting you to great druid. Those among you who are not Druids will be granted Honorary Druid status, and I am sure the experience will be worthwhile. Honorary Great Druid status. So, that one's also relatively easy as a promotion quest. Um, I'm not messing with those gargoyles yet. Let me go get some more um, horseshoes. Hello. Alright. Where's this going? Price fixing. Well, if Loretta's got a new scheme, count me in. But you better get all the other companies to sign up. Yeah. I like how they name this Trigger Joe's. You break it, you buy it. I need to show the shopkeeper. Alright, what do we got here? Hi. 
Good day. Okay. Good day. Okay. Hi. Okay. Hello. These people aren't being of much use Good to me day. so far. What does this do? Alright, I'll take it. Good day. Diamond gargoyles are tricky. Good day. Hi. Good day. Master learning. Rank seven and intellect thirty. Now we should be able to get it. Hello. Okay. There you go. I think it's closed. It's still not even nine a.m. Oh, okay. Hello. Okay. Hello. Prepare expertise. Okay. There we go. Now, let's see if she can prepare these things. Cool. There's 10 R's, isn't it? Spell points plus 11. Wait a minute, he has spell points plus 11 and he only has 54 spell points? And that's with the... Wow. Okay. I should maybe start putting some points into meditation. Yeah, I definitely should. Anyway. We can rank the points over time then. Uh, I don't know if that's worth it. Let me... cast the chant item on this. Increase greater recovery. That's nice. That's nice. And now that he has 12 points in water magic, Enchant Item should have a 100% success rate, since it's 10% per point of skill in water magic. Actually, 120% success rate, but... Hello. 100%. How are you? Hello. Okay... Um... So let's go this way. Okay. This is the training area. How are you? Expert spear training. Hi. 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 Where's the boat taking us? Nowhere. Missed me. Here. Hello. Hello. Why are there so few teachers? Wait, did that say Master of Earth? I can't do that, can I? I'm definitely not ranked 12 in Earth. Alright. Hello. Protection Services membership. Oh, I forgot about that place. I'm the guild recruiter for Protection Services, a special guild sanctioned by Lord Anthony Stone to sell protection to merchants, whether they want it or not. But we aren't all thugs. We offer legitimate services and classes, too. Membership in the Protection Services Guild costs 50 gold and entitles you to buy classes in any skill we teach. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Hello, how are you? Hello. The magic of spirit, mind, and body. Adept Guild of the South. This probably isn't as good as the one in Freehaven. Expert meditation. They're already experts. Wish I had enough points to make him an expert, because he can kind of use it. How are you? As I pointed How out. How are you? Anyway. Hello. Master merchant training. Okay. Yes. Hi. Hello. Look at that dude's face. Hug your brother, the chimney sweep. Actually, wait a minute. No, no, never mind, not yet. I don't need him yet. But I will eventually need to recruit a chimney sweep. Alright, one of the gargoyles followed me. If it's only one, I'm pretty sure I can take him out. This way, Mr. Gargoyle. Oh, is it the... It's a diamond gargoyle. Alright, well... Oh, my God. 
Well. Alright, about that. Bye bye. Can we assist you? Be with you. Alright, well we're not fighting that gargoyle. Um Hi. Quest. Cedric Druthers and his Celestial Order have taken over the Monolith, an ancient place sacred to Druids. Their dark rituals are corrupting the Monolith and they need to be stopped. Whatever altar they use as the center of their ceremonies needs to be defaced. Do this for us and we will compensate you for your time and services. Damn gargoyle. How are you? Alright, I already have that. Alright, great. Hello. Earth I already have that. Wonderful. Town hall still isn't open. Hello. Light magic expert. I'll be getting that soon. How are you? Might have to take money from the bank. Hi. Master of the body. I'm not even an expert in that yet. Hello. Mind. Good day. I have that. What do these ones do? Oh, they don't do anything. Uh, n nice house. Alright, um, I've already been Good here, day. right? Yeah, master of learning. Um, how am I going to go this way and avoid the gargoyle? That, no, no. You kill gargoyles again. I want to say they resist light magic. Maybe they're even immune to it. Okay, let's try a couple different tactics here. Do that. Come over here. Let's do this in turn-based mode because I just want to get this one out of the way. Is he stuck on something? Um. spell here. Uh, no, wrong button. Well, this works. Not exactly sure how this happened, but I'll take it. Getting him down. Come on, Diamond Gargoyle. Come on, fight me. You can do better than that. I'm right here. You paralyzed me quite easier. Quite easy earlier. Just do that again and you'll have me. Come on, I almost got you. Come get me. You can still do it. You still have a chance. Come on. No, your time's running out, Diamond Gargoyle. Your prey is right here. Fresh for the murder. Diamond Gargoyle. Diamond Gargoyle, no. Oh, Diamond Gargoyle. Good day. Alright. That was fun. So, I was coming around this way, and the gargoyle was over there, so I didn't go into this one. Magic of spirit, mind, and body. Uh, okay, whatever. Good 
day. Nice face. Good day. Expert meditation, guardian expert. Hello. Uh, did I already check out these Good houses? Day. Hi. Yeah, I got the master merchant training. So. Hi. Yeah, and I was going that way, and then okay. So then I was going to come in here. Closed. Protection services. Oh, they're open at night. Okay, that makes sense. Light, the magic of good. Light magic? Dispel magic. Removes all spells on all creatures in the caster's sight, both helpful and harmful. Recovery is reduced by an amount equal to skill in light magic, with a misplaced period at the end. Day of the Gods! Yes. I need to go get some more money. Excuse me, Mr. Light Magic Dude, sir. And let's... Alright, we'll be able to get expertise in light magic. Um, where'd the bank go? Here we go. What can I do for you? Insufficient funds. Alright. Pretty soon it'll be time for me to Light, the magic of good. start acting frugal again. Day of the gods. Uh, I can do it just one. Golden touch. That's nice. It converts an item to that percent of its gold value. But I'm fine with just selling it. I don't need a spell for that. Slow. That's decent. Fate food. Whatever. It can only create up to a certain amount, so it's not too useful. Calls upon the power of the heaven to undo. Blah, blah, blah. 16. Blah, blah, blah. Only works on the undead. Alright. Well, that doesn't do that much damage. I mean, it's nice, but I can go without it. The only one, the only one I'm really wanting is Day of okay. Gods. So let's go find who was teaching expertise in light magic. He was somewhere over here, I remember. Good day. Ready to learn something new. Good day. Good day. Hello. Oh, Hello. what do you have to say about diamond gargoyle? Diamond gargoyles are the toughest gargoyles around. They're impossible to kill with physical attacks, so you should use magic to kill them. Well, thanks for the tip, sir. Diamond gargoyles are pretty tough. Good day. I'd say that if Good someone day. manages to kill a diamond gargoyle, they might be the toughest adventurer in all of Enroth. Wouldn't you say so, sir whose house who I have already left? Hello. Okay, where's the... Good day. There's too many houses that don't... that hold residents that don't really do anything. I already completely forgot what a light magic expert teacher is. That's fine. I have quite Good a bit day. of time. Good day. Oh, did I check this one? Hi. Diamond Gargoyle. Hug your brother the locksmith. Alright. Hello. Hello. What does he have to say about stealing? Hello. Okay. Good day. Well, Magic of spirit, mind, and body. Hi. Meditation. Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay, where is the light magic person? It's not this one, Good is day. it? Oh. Okay, I should go to town hall just to make sure I get there before it closes. I could use your services. All right, holidays. Could certainly use a holiday. All right, what's the bounty hunt, genie? Well, I'm not gonna kill one of those this month, Hi. most likely. So I'm not getting that bounty. Good day. Good day. <sighs> Good day. Master of the mind. Good day. Master of the body. Good day. My guild membership. Oh, oh, it was this one, wasn't it? Good day. Hey, there we go. Yes. All right. Yes. Cool. 
so let's see here. Um, this town portal and resorbable. From here, there's a little part down there that I forgot to explore when I was flying around earlier. So let's go check that out now. It's pretty insignificant, but it's gonna be in the back of my mind until I fill it in, so I'm gonna go clear it out. Might as well shoot some arrows and kill a couple of these guys. Right? So over here, there is not much. I don't think there's anything up here either. Nope. Alright, but at least I have it on the map now. Wasn't that worth going over there? I think it was. Hello. Advice, yeah. I think that's the dude from the opening movie. I think. This is... it. it's strange that they would put this dude who gives you advice in, like, this area over here. I mean, I guess maybe they expected the player to come over here as, like, one of the first things they did, but I wouldn't. I don't know. I already got these, didn't I? Yes, I did. There's a rock up here. Did I already take the sword out of it? I did. What else do we got going on here? Um... I guess that's it for New Sword Uh, Town Portal to... Uh, let's go to Blackshire. Let's check out this light guild. Closed. Oh, that's the dark guild. It's weird that the light guild is black and the dark guild is white. Light, the magic of Prismatic Light, that's a pretty good spell. But, it costs too much to be efficient for use in combat at the moment. Sunray is good. Not as good as Prismatic Light, though. And since now I sh should be frugal, I'm going to pass up Prismatic Light for now. Also, I think... This happened while I was messing around with my inventory, so I don't think I've shown this yet, but he now has leather armor that regenerates his spell points over time, which is good. I was hoping I would get something like that soon. So there's still not much I can do here. There's a dungeon right about there, and a dungeon right about there, but I'm still underleveled for them. It wouldn't stand much of a chance. Um, let's go check up the- oh, oh, let's pick up the statuettes. Keep him with him. Let's go this way. Check the circuses in town. No, didn't think so. Alright. He will use Town Portal to go back to Freehaven because I want to sell these embers. Oh, wait. Well. Maybe I shouldn't have used spell points like that, but next dungeon I'm going to go to is in Freehaven anyway, so not a big deal. How are you? How are you? Uh huh. How are you? Okay, show by harpy feathers for only ten gold each. How is that worth it? Hi. Spoiler alert: It's not. You? Identification Mastery. Let's go check out these dudes again. And the woman. Brilliant. Alright. Where's that amber purchasing gentleman? Because I don't need the amber anymore. How are you? How are you? Hi. Hello. <sighs> Hi. How are you? How are you? 
Do I even have anybody with diplomacy? I don't think I do. Hello. No. Hello. 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 Hello, how are you? No, where's the amber purchasing guy? Hello. There he is. Alright. So now... We're gonna fly... This way and go into a dungeon that's somewhere over here. Clear out the enemies by the entrance first. Okay, so that was good. Um, how to clear out the rest of them. Um, Master Archer. Okay, Fire Archer is top priority. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna have a pretty significant advantage in these dungeons now that I have my Lloyd's Beacon on that uh, Day of the Gods thing, so I can just go there at will. He... Uh, I think we'll go rest for now. Sure, why not? Hello, come on in. Enjoy your stay. So go this way. Can you go over here? Enter the dungeon. All right. I got a bad feeling about this place. So we got that. Now. Hmm. Oh, let's restart the game. The music's lagging. Alright. So the thing is... If I... Eh, it won't be too hard to get back here. Lloyd's Beacon, Recall Beacon, there, there. And see right now, I don't really have enough. I would have placed a beacon there, recalled this beacon, and then, nope. And then recalled that beacon directly after, but I'm limited on spell points pretty significantly. So, I'm... There you go. Just because why not? Store spell points this way. Alright. And that fountain is dry. Go this way, back to the dungeon. And here we are again. Alright, let's start by going this way, because I remember that is the main path, so let's clear out the items and enemies. 
on this side first. Excellent party if you're a master. I'm not a master in it yet. So, first spell I'm gonna cast is. Inferno. With him as well. Okay, those veterans are gonna put up a good fight. But, I have my buffs on. So. What's the plan? What's the plan? Alright, let's wait for them to come to me. Let's try to funnel some of them out through here so they only come a few at a time. Yeah. That's my plan. Oh, hey, veteran. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I... Yeah. kind of looking forward to this one being more of a challenge. Maybe I won't, like, just kill him in the doorway this time. And honestly, maybe these buffs make me a little overpowered, too. Yeah, alright, I guess I'm not going to use the buffs on all the dungeons. It also might be a little too easy. Is this the main way? I don't think so. Mm, we'll go the other way. Next. Nice. And we'll go back and go the other way. Just to check. Alright, we're broke. That broke. It's fixed. And oh, I should have enchanted the bows. Oh, I'll do that later. Oh, whoa! Trying to lure out some enemies, but not that many. Fancy. Aha. Not bad. Uh, whatever. Oh, really? Okay, there. Good enough for now. Got that All right. Very nice. Wand. That is the first wand. That I've seen in this playthrough so far. So, wand, this is. What spell is flame? Fire arrow? Fireball? I don't know what spell flame is, but. Anyway, as it says there, you give it to whoever you want to use it, and then his attack becomes that spell and it has 54 charges, meaning you can use that spell 54 times before it runs out. Yellow is accuracy? Yeah, there you go. Uh, it's over here. Thank you, Wizard Eye.
Thank you all of my buffs. Empty, red, might. Empty, green, purple, white. Alright. Uh, green is endurance, purple is speed, white is luck. There you go. Up this way. Whoa! Okay, I forgot about that. Tricky. Are there gonna be rats out here or something? No? Okay, just them. Let's power cure. We're getting some nice spell points, 173. Plus he's regenerating with his armor. I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't have casted Heroism and Bless, because those might have been included in my buffs. I'll have to check next time. Okay. There we go. Got one of them out. And like I pointed out last time, they just stand there, they watch that dude get killed, and they're just like, whatever. They don't care. Maybe they didn't like that guy. Maybe they didn't like this guy either. Alright. Oh, that's more than I thought there would be. But they're all just low level fighters. That's... Alright, I might have to do like I did with Corlegon's Estate. And come back and get those things later. Alright, I see this. What is this, a hidden wall? There we go. Alright. Fake ball. Oh. Ah. Uh. Alright. Come on, you can do it. Got it. Got it. Aha! Ooh, plus five might and endurance. I'll keep that. I'll come back and get these later. Let's go in here now. Door won't budge. Alright, so it's kind of like I thought this is the main way you have to go, but I suppose you do have to go on this side too, it's not just for treasure. Alright. I see you! You're on the other side of the wall. Yeah, on the other side of the wall. Um, let's check out this room first. Whoa. Okay. okay, let's maybe be a little more careful. Uh, I still haven't gotten any healing spells for her. I keep forgetting. Uh, all right. Oh, it had to be one of the strong ones following me. Yeah, very nice. So, I'm gonna go rest, and when I rest, my buffs will come off, so that'll make this dungeon a little more fair. But, I'll have them in Lloyd's Beacon in case I ever need them. Or no, wait a minute. Uh, well, I was gonna say I would just use my food and rest in the dungeon, but I do want to sell a bunch of stuff as well. Why aren't her hit points going up? Oh, that got broken, that's why. Fixed. There you go. She'll be good as new... Uh... Soon enough. Probably not 
have to use these wands. So, sell those. Wait, I thought, I thought this was a alchemy shop. An alchemy shop. Oh, well, I guess not. Let's get her some healing spells. Good enough. Okay. Alright. Good day. No. Why did I go into a house? Here we go, here's the alchemy place. See anything you like? Thanks. I'm still not getting particularly good prices for having master and merchant. I'll be selling that, I'll be selling that. I guess I'll place some enchantment on it first. Poison resistance, yeah, I don't need that. What about that? Luck plus six. Eh. Spell points plus eleven. I'm keeping this on him at least for now. And I'm keeping that on her at least for now. I guess I'll save this. I probably won't be using this, and I guess I probably won't be using this either. No. Keep that with him for now. The shop should be over here. What do you need? I'll teach you. Finest weapons in the land. Come again. Where do you want to go? There it is. Don't touch the merchandise. Come back. Okay, sell. Um, sell. 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 Okay, there you go. Sell all that. Don't touch the merchandise. Come back soon. Finest weapons in the land. Come again. Then, um, take a moment to reorganize this. Not gonna do it perfectly well, but there we go. Good enough. And put these over here. This right here. That there, that there, and that there. There, yeah, we should have some good room now. Uh, I guess we can put these right here. Good enough. So she has a room in case she needs to use it. And looking good. Uh wait, which one's unenchanted? Oh, I already put an enchantment on them. Okay. So we're gonna rest and go back to that dungeon. Um Oh, yeah, stables. Need a ride? Price fixing. And we might as well get this one as well while we're over here. Need a ride? Alright. Where's the inn? Where's the inn? It's over here, right? Yeah, there we go. Hello, come on in. Enjoy your stay. Alright. Feeling good to tackle this dungeon. Yeah, let's check out that shrine again. Maybe this is the month. Just maybe. No, it's not the month. Um, over here. 
here. Is the music already lagging again? It is. How long have I been playing this for? I haven't been keeping track this time. Also, um, I think it was in the last video, I mentioned something about the guide getting something technically wrong. And I checked that out, and I remembered what I was talking about. So basically, they describe the S button. It says the priority of what the S button does is as follows. And it said its first priority is to cast a quick spell if you have one set. Or, actually I think it's called a ready spell, but I keep calling it a quick spell. Whatever. Anyway, cast one of those if you have one set. And then if you don't, the S button, uh, next priority for it is that it shoots an arrow. And the next priority for it is that it attacks the same way as the A button. Now the reason that's technically not true is because the A button itself shoots an arrow. So... I mean, I guess maybe it's not technically false, but... I don't know. I'm not criticizing them for it or anything, it's just something interesting I noticed. And when I say interesting, I mean probably something that nobody besides me will find interesting, so... Whatever. I just can't really think of anything else to talk to to pass the time here. Um... This dude's armor looks nice. Alright. Looking in these. Why are they not keeping more loot for me? Don't they know that I want something to take from them after I kill them? Alright. Alright, well, it looks like Nebula's, yeah. Why are they all going for Nebula? Might as well use Power Cure, I guess. Good enough. Oh, another veteran. Uh, no. Spellbook button, not the jump button. Implosion. Stop knocking out Nebula, please. I would appreciate it. Well, that sucked. And I didn't even get anything from it. Alright. Power cure. And I'm running low on spell points. Alright, uh, let's take out these ones. I just realized I'm getting some pretty nice gold from this. I was at like 20,000 when I started. Yeah, I might as well do this. Oh, well. Okay, what broke? It's fixed. It's fixed. <sighs> Healing touch. I need to be using more magic with him, that's the problem. I'm doing better. Alright! All right. Veteran, there's another veteran there. Uh, implosion. 
explosion. Not enough spell points, crap. Alright. And the healer's out. Joshi Poo, come on. Alright. We need you, Joshi Poo. Nice. I'm pretty sure she can use that. Okay, she can use that. Can he use that? No. He can't. Alright. It's fixed. So Staff Dagger Bow, so that's a uses mace skill. She has the mace skill, so she can use it as well. And he can use it. So uh, let's see here. Decent. Okay, 12 to 20 to 18 to 26. 13 to 15 to 18 to 26. But if they're using the same... Oh no, they're not using the same weapon, never mind. And this one would just decrease it, wouldn't it? Yeah. Alright, so... Uh, this can go to her. And this can go to her. And we'll sell this later. Alright. There's also a unique hammer that you can get, I'm gonna go rest, called Thor, and it uses the same design as this, and it does a bunch of lightning damage and stuff. It's pretty good. God damn it. The one time I didn't save. Alright. Who, who is it? Uh, you know, I'm just gonna... And they're still sleeping. <sighs> you know, I was like, should I save? No. Last few times they've been fine. But... He doesn't even have enough cell phones. Well, he will in a moment. I was like, no, last few times they've been fine. So... I guess I won't save. And I used all my magic, so... Um, um... I guess I might as well rest here. If enemies appeared there, that would've been some serious shenanigans. I don't even think that's possible when your uh, light is green, when you're outside a dungeon. But, still. Alright. So that went well. And these enemies are still here. That's fine. Yay. Alright. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why is there a dead enemy right there? Did I forget to pick up a corpse? Oh, you know what? There's that stuff I forgot to pick up, too. Or that I left there. Uh, where did I leave it? Didn't disappear, did it? No! I think it disappeared. I should have put it in a chest or something. Oh, well. Lessons learned. A soldier and fighter. Get him this way until one of them wises up and comes around. Look at this elite squadron of veterans. Evidently, they're not door exiting veterans. Did I already say that? I don't think I said that. Okay. Well, if I did, then I don't know. Whatever. More veterans. Chase us. 
No, oh, why'd you go into this room? Okay, there we go, that's better. Sell that. Alright, oh, that missed. Alright, I'll take him on. The other one came out. There we go. Why is he running away if he's at good health? Put an enchantment on some of these bows now. Plus five intellect and personality. Well, you know that's well, intellect and personality. I don't know. We'll see. Let's cast one on this one and see what it gets. Double damage versus demons. I guess that'll be useful at some point. Item is not of high enough quality. Oh, well. Oh, uh well. -huh. Alright, intellect and personality is for him. Double damage versus demons is for her. Even though he doesn't really need it. Uh, this way. Aha! I don't need it. It's quick save. Alright. Alright, so that's all the rooms. Um, let's cast heroism again. Alright, and that's a lot of enemies. Luckily, they're having a lot of difficulty following this straight path towards me. So that's working to my benefit. I like all the tight closed-in corridors in this game, but one of the downsides to them is that you get things like this where the AI is having trouble coming towards you and then that kind of kind of ruins the little danger factor that you got going on here. Oh, crap, two of them. So yeah. What, like that? I mean, it, it's fun to like exploit it like that, but I don't want to go through the entire game like this. And I'm not going to. Because there are some dungeons later where you really can't do this. But... And... Uh, there we go. Alright, what chain meal did I get? Uh-huh. Alright, in this room there's a couple, and there's a couple stuck there. Got that one. Oh, just one stuck there. Alright, I don't think that was all of them in this room. Was it? Oh, it was. Okay. Chainmail. Trident. Empty. And they're all weak. Alright, now it's green. 
That's how I should have been able to tell that it had spawned those ghosts when I was in Corwin's estate. Is that I should have seen their lights turn yellow. Okay, didn't spawn any enemies. Looking good. Red. White is either luck or personality. White is luck. Okay. Save. Nice sums of gold. I'll probably sell that. Uh, again. Alright, there, whatever for now, that's fine. And I don't need that. Sell that. What about this one? Nothing. It's almost like they don't want me to have a lot of good items and be rich after raiding their outpost. Nah, that can't be the case. Alright, it has to have unlocked at least one of these doors. Yeah, first one's unlocked. In fact, it's, it's wide open. This is the highest level dungeon I can think of that has no ranged attackers. So, there very well might be ones higher level than this that have no ranged attackers that I just can't think of. But if that's not the case, then this is the one of the last dungeons I'll be doing that only uses physical attackers. Physical enemies. No range attackers. There's a dungeon in Silver Cove that might also not have any, but I would say it's slightly lower level than this. Let's use Power Cure. If I hadn't realized at that one point that they all should have the bow skill, I wonder if I would have ever realized it. And if I didn't, then at this point... Okay, there's something tricky here, I don't remember what it is. Anyway, at this point I might be having more trouble with this dungeon. What is it? Does it spawn people behind me? Um... Okay, that surprised me. <laughs> I knew there were going to be enemies there, that still made me jump. Okay. Well, let's go away. Let's use power cure again. Let's get some more light in here. Well, I didn't do much. Okay, what broke? Oh. Okay, let's, uh... That broke. And... This broke. It's fixed. There. And there. Alright. So... Come on. Why did I have some trouble finding that? I'm surprised I still haven't memorized where the spells are that I use so much. Alright, I'm 
again from Spellbind. There you go. Uh, throws one on the floor. Let's have this one come this way. And there's one in there, and he's coming. Look at this one. Any more enemies? No? Okay, there... I'm quite sure there's something tricky about these doors. Door won't budge. Door won't budge. Do all these just open with the switch? Okay, so you press the switch and they all open at once. And then the rats come for you, but they're just rats. rats in this room also? Yeah. Well, no, not just rats. How much magic does he have? Enough for one more ring of fire. Clear him out this way. Oh. Well. I didn't mean to press that, but okay. Okay, so that was one of the tricks of the room. Told you there was something tricky about them. Not going in there. We generated enough to use this again. And they're gone. I'm gonna save before I use these. Okay, that did something. And that did something, I guess. Okay. Don't have enough for heroism. Okay, that's... That's several somethings that, that it did. It's strange that the enemy surprised me when I was expecting them. And now that I wasn't expecting these ones, they didn't surprise me at all. Is this gonna, like, trap me as soon as I go in here? Okay, no, I actually have to pull a lever. this dungeon and then uh, you know what I'm gonna go rest before I take these guys on quick save this time there's still rats in this dungeon oh crap all right let's where it's more safe, and then try to rest again. Not here, we... 
Are you kidding me? I'm gonna try this one more time and then we're just gonna load my quick save. Alright, there we go. Nice peaceful nap. Hope they don't mind too much. Alright. Two items broke. That. Uh, it's fixed. I'll reorganize that later. And. It's fixed. That. And let's run away. How did they do so much damage to him so quickly? Oh, he has more hit points than anybody else. Come on, you gonna attack me? This way! What are you doing? Alright. He's down. Some more over there. Might be able to hit him with Ring of Fire, but I'm not gonna try. He's down here. Oh, that's not a veteran behind me. It's a veteran behind me. Okay, repair the bow. Fix this now. There we go. Have it all nice and organized. Please don't be a veteran. Okay, I can take him out. And I can pick up his body. And we should be able to take these guys out easily. Or is that- yeah, it's just one. Who's this one? Easy. Okay, one veteran left. go. And I think I've cleared out the dungeon now. Let's not die to this. Okay. Wait a minute, this is Mordred? This is Mordred? I thought, I could have sworn Mordred was in the place of the liches. Alright. One of nine such blades in the world, Mordred was made by the Brotherhood in 428 AS as part of their first experiment in the development of dark magic. Their hope was to find a way to extend one person's life at the expense of another's, but instead of reversing ages, they merely found a way to steal health. Special power is vampiric. Alright. Um. There's nothing oh, okay, here. she's the repair. Thanks. Alright, I'll figure out who I'm going to have use this later. I'm pretty sure you get to keep it after you turn in the quest. I'm gonna keep an eye on my lights just to make sure nobody's gonna surprise attack me. Green. 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 Alright, and we're good. I don't have enough to fly, so let's just run back to town. Turn in the Mordred.
So that was... Hmm. Wait, where's the quest for Mordred? Uh, I've been playing this for too long. I'll, I'll find where the dude to turn it is in, in the next part. To turn it in is in the next part. Or maybe I'll I'll find where he is right after I turn off this video, and then on the start of the next one I'll just walk right to him. That's what I'll do. Alright, so that was cool. I got a good amount of money, although I spent even more. And I got Mastery and Water Magic, which is going to help us greatly. Next part will be, I don't know, maybe tomorrow, maybe not.